Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about seronegative spondylar arthritis. Seronegative spondylar arthritis got their name seronegative from the fact that they have no specific markers in the blood that we can look for to diagnose them. However, they do have a gene that, if present, is highly characteristic of this disease, and the gene is HLA-B27, which is a class of MHC1. The common characteristic symptoms for these diseases are arthritis, back pain, and dentitis, which is basically inflammation of tendons insertions. Also, it's important to know that the back pain starts as morning stiffness and gets better as the day goes on. And they're strongly associated with dactylitis, which is also known as sausage fingers, and uvitis. Here is the sausage finger appearance. There are four diseases that can make the seronegative spondylar arthritis. And to remember them, think of the word pair. So P for psoriatic arthritis, and it's basically skin psoriasis, which is ticking of the skin with scales, and pencil and cup deformity of the distal interphalangeal joints. And A for ankylosing spondylitis, which is basically sacroiliac joint fusion and ortic regurgitation. and the fusion of the sacroiliac spine can cause the appearance of bamboo spine. I for inflammatory bowel disease, which is basically Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And finally, R for reactive arthritis, also known as Reiter syndrome, which is basically conjunctivitis, urethritis, and arthritis. And it's caused by chlamydia, salmonella, shigella, yersinia, and campylobacter. So these are the four diseases that can cause the seronegative spondylar arthritis with the symptoms that we have described before. Here's how the pencil and cup appearance look like. Alright, so that's everything I've got. Hopefully this video made it easier for you and see you guys later.